Hey everybody, Jake here at Langmer Systems, and today we're going to be talking about something a little different, but still equally important to machining. You know, it's not going to, this video is not going to be about tool paths, or what tool to use, or whether the design is really right for what we're doing. No, today we're talking about Fusion 360 licenses, and how they can really affect what you're going to be working with here if you decide to go with Fusion. You know, there's a lot of great options out there, but not all of them are really apparent, and so... This video is really going to help kind of open that door a little bit and maybe open up a little more options that you might not have considered. So let's jump into it. Okay, so here we are at the Autodesk website. I just want to kind of start from ground zero, basically where to go and help you navigate through the website and figure out how to get to some of these options that are available for Fusion 360. So we start here, Autodesk, main page, and what we're going to do is we're going to come up to products under here, click on that, and we're going to come down to the top products and Fusion 360. This brings up the Fusion 360 side of things, and this is some of the options you can look at, kind of introduces you to basically what it is uh, but we're gonna, what we're going to focus on here is next to fusion there's a plans and pricing so I'm going to click on that so here's some of the options about buying full fusion some of the more information about it but I'm going to scroll down to the bottom and this is what we're going to kind of focus on today these are the three options available that might everyone might not know about so the first one here is Fusion 360 for personal and hobbyist use. This is one that I think is a very, very good deal for what you get. Uh, basically, if you are a hobbyist or if you are someone who is working in their garage and they love making parts and they have a real passion for it, but you don't want to spend hundreds of dollars to get your CAD software, this is an option for you. So what this is, is this is basically a free CAD software. As long as you are not a commercial business, which means you are not uh, intending to sell your products. So you're just doing this for fun, you think this is great and you want to learn, and you want to do this kind of in your garage, in your spare time, and you're not coming out here selling your product to the market. Um, that's one of kind of the main caveat here that you want to consider if you're going to be choosing this option. Uh, basically, you you sign up for it, you may create an account, you tell them a little about, about who you are, and they say, great, here's your download, and you just download it and start using it. Uh, it can be renewed on a three-year basis, pretty much just to make sure that you're not starting your own company and you're not trying to make a lot of money off this. It, as long as you're not doing that, you can do this every three years. Um, the one thing to kind of take away from this version is that it's not quite the full version of Fusion. It's still it's still a pretty powerful version and you still get a lot of available options, but some of the more advanced things in here are not don't quite have as many bells and whistles as full Fusion. Uh, pretty much everything has a light version of what you're getting with full Fusion, except when it comes to simulation, so unfortunately you're not going to be able to design your rocket engine from your garage uh, you won't be able to simulate that with the personal use. Uh, and please, if you are deciding to build a jet engine, please use the full version. Please do the full simulation of it. That would be great. But for average Joe, average Jane in their garage, this is a fantastic deal for them. So another thing to keep in mind is that if you're going to be using this personal hobbyist version of Fusion 360 and you want to transfer your files over to a full version, is that those files are going to have a watermark on them. And what a watermark is, is basically just a little symbol on your file, on your drawing, that basically says that, hey, this was made using a free version of Fusion. And Autodesk does that just to kind of keep track and make sure people aren't trying to cheat the system. But it's pretty much a small detail for um, not a lot of people, or something not a lot of people are going to be using. So this is kind of the personal hobbyist version, completely free version of Fusion 360. The next one here is Fusion 360 for startup companies. Now this is another great deal for the person who does want to design a jet engine from their garage. <laughs> this is for 
basically small startup companies, people who want to get started in the industry and they want to start making money off their ideas and their designs and want that full option of Fusion 360 available to them. So this is a full version of Fusion 360, but it's a little bit more selective than the hobbyist use. Basically, um, you can renew it every three years, but you have to be a some sort of capital-backed company, whether that be um, venture-backed here, angel-backed, or a bootstrap startup. So basically, you have to prove to Autodesk, to Fusion 360, that you someone else thinks your idea is good, you know, um, that avionics company really thinks you have a great jet engine and they're willing to back you financially. So that is something to consider when choosing this light or looking at this license. You know, you must have 10 or fewer employees and you must be generating less than $100,000 in gross annual revenue. So it's really for those companies that are just getting started, just getting off the ground, can't really afford the full CAD packages for everyone at the company. So this is a great option for people who are looking to commercially start their business. Uh, so we'll go back here and we'll take a look at the last one. This is Fusion 360 for educational use. Now educational use is both for students and educators who want to use Fusion um, to basically teach people. Now this is a great opportunity for people who are either going back to school or who are people who are just starting their school and just looking to get into their careers. This is a great opportunity for them to really learn how to create CAD systems and how to make drawings using those CAD systems. And so this is a really special package because not only does Autodesk offer Fusion with this package, but they offer their entire library of software. So this includes Revit, this includes Inventor, it includes AutoCAD, pretty much the entire suite of softwares that you might want to use or might want to learn and be proficient with. And this is a great offer that Autodesk is doing here. But one thing they ask you to do in return is really prove that you are a student or an educator. And so you'll make an account and then you'll have to fill out an application basically saying that you truly are a student or you truly are employed by an actual educational institution. And so they will take your application and they, I think they've said it takes about 20 minutes, maybe uh, at the soonest, to 24 hours at the latest. And they'll review your application just to make sure you are who you say you are. And after that, you receive a link to basically download any software that you might want to use. And in the meantime, you can try out the trial version or you can try out the free version if you really need access to Fusion at the moment. But this is honestly, I'm, I would be amazed at this. If I were a student or if I were trying to teach people in a classroom setting, this would be a great tool for me to use. But so these are kind of the three options that... I wanted to kind of highlight in this video and show to people that might not know everything that you can do. And I also do want to mention that Fusion 360 is very affordable for what you're getting. Not just affordable, but it is a powerful software, especially when compared to um, other softwares out there like Inventor or SolidWorks or NX, something like that. You really can get a lot of capability out of Fusion and for sometimes half the price, sometimes a quarter of the price of some of these other CAD softwares. And so, so buying, there's nothing wrong, is what I'm trying to say, with buying just a straight up license to Fusion. If that's what you want, if that's what you can afford, if you're comparing it to other softwares, something to very much consider. So that about wraps it up. Here I have a little graphic I made of all the notes I took while I was researching this topic. So feel free to pause the video and read through them, kind of study what you might want to consider if you're considering these options. And keep in mind that this information here on the screen was current at the time this video was made. So if you might need to go back, check the website again to make sure everything's still relevant to all this information here and everything's still accurate. And if not, then you might want to I don't know, reach out to someone at Autodesk, reach out to someone at Fusion, see if they can clear up any questions for you. And as always, thanks for watching. If you like this video, leave a thumbs up down below. And if you want to see more videos like this one, feel free to subscribe to our channel. And if you have any comments or questions, especially questions, as we covered a lot in this video, feel free to leave a comment down below. I know we're going to be checking up a lot on this video just because we kind of covered so much information in such a short time. We'll try to answer everyone's questions the best we can. 
or refer you to someone who can answer your questions. See you guys in the next one.